So my name is Sarah Bateman. I'm a senior swimmer at UF. I swim the sprint free and currently major in geology. In 2008 at the Olympics I represented Iceland and I swam the 100 backstroke. I'm a dual citizen so I had the, uh, I had the ability to swim for both countries. Um, I chose to swim with Iceland for the 2012 Olympics because I swam for them in 2008 and it just, it just felt like the right decision. I'd already qualified and it was already a sure thing so I bet I, it was just what I chose in the end. The most exciting moment in my career was definitely the 2010 NC2A Championships where we won the national title. We thought we were going to come in at best fifth place going into the final session and then the coaches came up to us and said, you, go, you know you guys, we, we have a chance, we can win this, it'll, it'll come down to like a few points and we had no idea, we never expected it. So it was a really crazy session and we ended up beating Stanford by I think two and a half points and it was just a crazy experience because it was completely unexpected and it was just amazing. The reason I've kept with swimming for so long is just because I love to race. Um, I love dual meets, I love the atmosphere, the competition. It's really the only thing that's kept me in the sport because practices aren't always the fun, most fun and it's kind of hard to stick with it, you know, so. There's a couple different reasons. I came on a recruiting trip and I absolutely loved it. I just knew this was a place for me and another big reason I chose to come here was I had a lot of coaches telling me that since I was a sprinter I could never make it at UF and I just kind of wanted to prove them wrong, so. Happily, or I'm happy that I did. Made it all four years because a lot of people said I couldn't. So that was a big thing for me in choosing the choosing to come to UF. This program has definitely made me the swimmer that I want to be. I came very inexperienced out of high school. I didn't really know how to train or do anything, and it's definitely turned me into a more competitive athlete. Uh, for the past four years of college, my fellow teammate Teresa Crippen has definitely been my big role model. She's someone who, no matter what the situation is, no matter how hard practice is, she always pushes herself as hard as she can. It's something that I've always strived to be like. It's kind of more difficult than she makes it look, but she's definitely someone I've always looked up to. All four years, I guess I was a big part of the relays. I really love relays. It's a way to compete with your fellow teammates, and it's more of a, it's more, less of an individual thing and more of a team thing. And, it's going to be really hard not being on the relays anymore, but I think we have a lot of good incoming freshmen, so we should still have pretty strong relays in the future. A year ago, me and my mom made a deal that if I ever broke 22 seconds in the 50, I could get a puppy. And luckily this year I did, and my mom gave in and got me a Norwich Terrier. She's a year old now, and her name's Penny, and I love her. And I was just so excited to get her, so 